This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce website to mobile app. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS mobile application. Get an opportunity to grab 30% off by being the first 200 signups. Get the link in the description. Hello and hi, welcome back to Educate WordPress where we talk everything and all about WordPress. I'm Aisha and in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can use menus to navigate into a single page website. So when you own a single page website, use your menus to navigate to different parts of your page and uh, these menus are stationary. So this won't take you to another page, but it will navigate into a single page where your things are situated. We're going to see how this is done. So before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe as we come up with videos on WordPress and WooCommerce every now and then to get your website performance up and up. So here you can see I don't have any menus as of now. So I'm going to create a new menu. So here in the customization option, I'm going to go to the customize. And here you will be able to see the menus option. So you can either go to your dashboard and uh, go to appearance and then menus or you can go to the direct customization option. So here in the menus, I'm going to create a new menu. So click on create new menu. I'm going to give it the name as header menu all right so this is the menu and this will be our primary menu so i'm going to click on to the primary menu so primary menu means the main uh, menu that will be appearing so i'm going to click on to the next and here a new menu will be created so right now you have to add the items what are the items that you want you can add it so first one is the home page so definitely i'm going to add the home page so that will be uh, where all of the page uh, everything is connected okay so next i'm going to add uh, we, we are not going to add any of these pages but we're going to add a new one which is the custom links so you can take on to the custom link and here uh, first of all i'm going to add a about page about us okay so that's a page so we'll just keep it about and here in the url section write hashtag about so this is the custom link that we're going to use so this will be the uh, redirected link so I'll show you how this will be useful. So I'm going to uh, add a few more menus. I'm going to add another item. I'm just clicking on to contact. And here I'm going to contact us. And right here in the similar way, I'm going to add hashtag contact. So I'll tell you the significance, but let's first add the items right here. So I'm going to add the next menu option. So I'm going to write menu and here in the URL, it will be hashtag menu. So you might be wondering what this is, uh, what this thing is. So uh, this is the menu that we have just created. So this will be the menu. This will be the header menu that we are going to use. So I'm going to just publish this. So here you'll be able to see home, home is there, menu is there, about is there, contact is there. So these are the menu items that I need. So when I click on to that, you can see that nothing is happening right now. So uh, we're going to just go back to our website. So here you will be able to see nothing is going to, uh, nothing is happening here. So what we have to do is right now, we're going to, we are going to go back to our website. So here you will need to edit your page. So first I'm going to edit your, uh, edit my page with the edit with Elementor option. So first of all, uh, we're going to assign these uh, section to different parts of the page. So here I have a about us page. So this will be the, my about us section. So here I'm going to cl click on to this option right here. Uh, this uh, edit section option and we're going to go to the advanced settings right here and here you will be able to see a cus uh, CSS ID. So this will be the ID that we have used uh, within the hashtag. So we had used about so we are going to write here about without the hashtag. So I'm going to update this. Similarly, I'm going to edit different options as well. So we had our menu section right here. I'm going to edit uh, the menu option again menu and then CSS ID as menu and update it and we had our uh, contact us option, right? So once assigned, we're going to now view our website. 
so you can see preview or change so when i click onto the menu you will be taken into the menu section similarly if you are going to the about a section you are taken into the about section so it's just simple two steps first you have to add a new menu with the custom link with the hashtag and then you have to edit the section with a css id so if you are using a different uh, editor or a different uh, met, uh, different builder you can you go to uh, you can find your css id and then replace it with the uh, name or the url that we ha you have used with the hashtag so this is a simple step that you can use to navigate your page into different uh, sections if you are having a single page website so that's it from my side if you like this video give a big thumbs up and be back with more videos on e-commerce wordpress and woocommerce we'll see you in another video bye